Okay, so we've got our piece of grey card. And this is really just like, um, it's not going to show very much. It's kind of like almost a background. And just in case some of the bottom part of the what's going to be my scene is going to show, this is meant to be like the concrete tarmac road. So we're just going to do a little rip across to make it not so even. I'm not wanting it particularly massively wobbly, but just a little bit wobbly. And that's going to go sort of here. So let's glue that down. So I think we'll put some adhesive on the bottom of my card here. now I'm just gonna put it to that edge there to the fold rather and then just for that top piece just to make sure that it's sticking down we're gonna use my tape down across the top there and then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna put this along the bottom just seeing where the fold comes up and um, not quite high enough actually let's just pull that up just very slightly there we go so that's that bit done And then I want to put my what will be my sky in place. And again, I don't want this like very, very low, but I want a bit of a gap of the green because you know behind my scene can be like grassy fields and things. So I'm going to pop it to about there, I think. So let's put some adhesive along this edge here. And then across the top of my green card, just making sure that I don't go on my fold. There we go. Like so. thing I need to do is just take my craft knife and just cut down these pieces to get the excess off. It's all a bit strange at the moment but hopefully it'll turn out okay in the end. Okay so then the next thing we need to do is put our grass and fence and stuff on so that that all starts to come together. So I'm just going to work out what goes where. Okay, so as you can see, I've stuck down my grey for my road, I've stuck down my lovely blue, which you saw, and now I've put down all my grass and my fence. And what I did was I ripped some of that up just to make like little tufts of grass at the front. Now the one thing that I did forget, which was a bit annoying, is that I wanted to put the tree behind and I did try to pull up my fence and change that, but it ha I couldn't do so. So it doesn't really matter, it was just I would have preferred it to go behind. So that's gonna be the next thing that I'm sticking down. And it took a while to sort of fiddle around working out just exactly what I wanted to wear with the with the tree uh, with the grass and stuff and I've been sticking it down using my scotch quick dry which seems to be working quite well unfortunately a bit too well with regard to the fence really because if I'd have used something else I probably could have pulled it up <laughs> but I think in the end it probably won't really matter it's just that you have something in your head don't you and when it's not quite what you sort of originally planned 
can be annoying. Okay, so there's our little tree. And we're going to pop that down. I'm just thinking about my son actually going behind. So just very quickly. I think it'll be alright actually. I'm just going to quickly pop my son down. I want my son over here with a cloud coming off it and I think you know over it and I think that the tree might cover my cloud so I just want to quickly do that now but the problem is with the scotch quick dries it, it still dries on the actual piece of card as well it doesn't wait till you stick it down so let's just put another cloud up there and then quickly grab my tree before it the glue is no longer working. There we go, that's gone on just perfect. And then I just want to make sure my sun is nicely stuck down, like so. There we go. So that's my tree. I must just, what I remember, just trim actually this bit of the grass off here. Getting that bit. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so then the next thing I need to do is put my little flowers down because they're going to be going behind my bike. So, oh, actually, sorry, before I do that, I've got my lovely ghosty tree, which I don't know where that will go. I kind of wanted it over the one that was there but I'm not sure if that will work so I'm just pulling off the backing and trying to, to be really careful pulling this off because it's got very delicate pieces. Vellum, it's very delicate. So let's just see. What I was thinking was that it could kind of go with this one. Mm, I'm being all indecisive. It's just kind of like an illusion of a, just something a bit extra on there, just to give like an illusion of something else there. So then we're going to put my little flowers on. I just want to decide where I want them. I need to set my lamp post that goes there. Actually, I might put that on next. It's kind of working out the layering and where things need to go because obviously some things are behind other things so it's kind of just working out what goes where really Do. 
Whoops. <laughs> and I've got to work out a sentiment for this one. I did have a thought and now I've forgotten what it was, which was useful. Um, but I've, I've got some really great stamps from my pink stamper and pink cricket. I do love, particularly love the pink cricket ones. Um, so I'll have a look at those. Okay, so the next thing, really the last thing, is the bike, which is just going to be sitting on here. But I'm going to put that on using my pin flare. And I want to just put it up very slightly from where I was, just to give me some room to put some sort of sentiment on my bike. And then obviously the next thing I need to do is attach this front piece to the back piece of my card to make a complete card um, once I've done my bike and I think actually before I attach the bike oh I have got one more thing I'm going to use some of these lovely jewels into my light so I'm just going to attach the jewels and I'm going to use my glossy accents to do that because I think that that's going to dry nice and clear. Oh, and I did forget this as well. I've got my lovely bumblebee, which was cut using a Martha Stewart punch. And then it was actually a cut in yellow yard cardstock and I just used some black pen to give it some definition. So just a few little bits and pieces to do. So let's put these jewels in. Okay, so my glossy accents in and this is really meant to look like kind of the glass or the light whatever but I'm gonna just fill this in And let's find our sentiment before we put our bike on. Okay, so I'm going to use this step from Pink by Design, which is called My Type. And I'm also going to be using this set from Paper Tray Ink, which is handwritten notes. So this one's going to be for the inside, so let's just do this outside one first. And what I want is the word journey. And you can see there's some really, really nice sentiments on here, just different words that you could use like journey, explore, imagine, memories, inspire, destiny, forever, etc, etc. So I was thinking about the word journey, but I think actually I'm going to go for explore. And I've got this lovely Versamagic Chalk Ink Night Sky, so we're going to be using that. And the beauty with um, Sarah's stamps is you can literally stamp them right out of the packet. And you don't have to prep them at all, so that's really cool. And I'm just going to pop that down in the corner here. one there and I'm just going to stick that bit down that's been popping up just there on my tree. The stamp, I, so now we want to just put this to one side for a minute and I want my other piece of card and I'm just going to stamp my inside sentiment and the first one that I'm going to use is this one, enjoy every day, enjoy life. I love that one, I've used that one quite a few times. This is a really nice set by Paper Training. It's got some really nice things on it. It was quite difficult to get hold of here. I had to order it from them and it wasn't um, 
that was quite expensive to bring over so I ordered quite a few different sets all in one go to make the postage worthwhile because it didn't really kind of increase when you had more things in the stamp department so I kind of did it like that so let's move this over slightly because this edge is going to be kind of covered so okay and then this one also has a happy birthday in it so we're going to put that on there as well just underneath okay perfect I'm not actually going to put my bumblebee on quite yet because I also want that 3D so I'm going to do that once I've put these two pieces of card together to make my complete card. Okay so what we need to do is put my cards, I'll just take the back piece and I need to put that on my measure and I need to mark up If we put it on the zero mark and put four inches each side of the zero on the mat you should have a zero point so put your card if it's eight inches so that the zero is on the center so if there's four inches to the left and four inches to the right so then what you need to do is mark one inch either side of the zero and then three inches either side of the zero and that gives you two inch gaps here and then an inch gap at the end so that gives you I found a really nice spacing on these cards okay so making sure that it's the right way around because we have obviously made us the stamps on the inside if you hadn't done that then that obviously wouldn't matter because it's a square and then we're taking our crocodile and using the bigger hole punch and using our marks as the guide making sure it's all together nice and even we're just going to slide this in at the mark and punch a hole and then again okay so now the next thing I want to do is put my eyelets in one through oh try to remember that you've got wet bits on the card <laughs> and then use the setter part on your crocodile and set it like so and then continue and do all the rest okay so that's the all the four done and it's just a really really great way of connecting the two pieces of card together I mean you could easily use some really really strong adhesive and do that rather than put the holes through or if you put the holes through and put the eyelets in you could obviously use de decorative eyelets you could even um, use brads and instead of punching holes just do some little piercing of holes rather than big big holes um, you could if you do the eyelets you can run ribbon through it either sort of like little trails off the back or in and out threading it through so there's all sorts of things you can do on this occasion and I think on the other cards that I did that, like this that you saw I'm going to leave it plain without any ribbon because I think it really is got more than enough going on on this card then the last thing I need to do I think is just put on my bicycle and my little bumblebee okay so now taking my pin flare glue let's put that back a bit we're just going to carefully put the glue on the bike just to give it some dimension. Let's put this back in place and now let's put our bike down. Gonna, yeah.
and then lastly but definitely not least is our little cute bumblebee great punch from Martha Stewart um, I think we'll put him over here to kind of balance the yellow This is our card for the day and I really hope you've enjoyed watching this with and uh, making this with me. I've really enjoyed making it. I just really just wanted to do something a bit different. I was playing, as I said, playing around with the cuts, just seeing how the Cricut would react to some different, more delicate cuts. So I hadn't done anything like that for at all with the vellum and then I sort of started that and ended up doing some other bits and pieces and uh, ended up with this idea for the card. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I think... Um, yeah, maybe start playing around just cutting some bits out and see what you can come up with because I'm sure you know it's surprising really when you start cutting things out how it just inspires you anyway I hope you like the cards I hope you've enjoyed watching and I look forward to seeing you all again soon bye